So we're all calling out of work this week, right? Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Peyton. It is nice to meet you, it is nice to see you, and welcome to the corner. So we were just given like a million new games to try this week. In case you didn't already know, this week, February 6th to February 13th, is Steam's Next Fest. It is a week-long festival showing off brand new upcoming games. And not only will you be able to play free demos of all of these games, but you can also see a lot of the games being live streamed over on Steam's website by the game's developers. Most of the game demos will only be available this week. We have hundreds of games with hundreds of demos that we only have like seven days to play. It's not a big deal. It's all right. I took it upon myself to scroll and scroll and scroll through hours through many, many game trailers to compile a list of the games that I am most excited about from the Steam Fest of February 2023. Now, as per usual on this channel, these are going to be all things cozy gaming, but there are lots of different games I've included on this list. All things from farming sims, to puzzle games, to a little bit of combat games, to building games. Obviously, all of these games are games that have not come out yet, and they all do have a variety of release dates. Not all of these games are going to just be PC, many of which will be coming to Switch and other consoles at varying times through 2023 and so on. So because there are so, so many games in this video, I'm kind of just going to give you a little sneak peek of all of these games. And of course, all of the information about the games will be in the description. So if you want to check out any of these free demos while you can, they'll be linked down below. But before we get into it, please be sure to click the lovely little like button as well as subscribe for more cozy, chaotic content like this. Okay, I'll shut up because we have a lot of games to get into. So I'm not going in any particular order here. Like I said, all of these games are available to play free demos of this week and I'm excited about all of them. Because there are so many games on this list, I am gonna roll through each title rather quickly, but hopefully I'll give you enough of a taste of what's to come. Starting off with our first game, we have Planet of Lana. Planet of Lana follows a young girl and her loyal best friend as they embark on a rescue mission through a colorful world of cold machines and unfamiliar creatures. Planet of Lana is a cinematic puzzle adventure framed by an epic sci-fi saga that stretches across centuries and galaxies. Explore a planet that used to be a place of undisturbed balance between human, nature, and animal has now become something else entirely. The disharmony that had been in the making for hundreds of years has finally arrived in the form of a faceless army. But this is not a story about war. This is a story about a vibrant, beautiful planet and the journey to keep it that way. The next game on the list is called Fabledom. Once upon a village set in a wholesome fairy tale world, Fabledom is the ideal laid back city builder. Enjoy the growth of your settlement, trade, and use diplomacy, ally, or challenge your neighbors. And most importantly, find yourself a prince or a princess and live happily ever after. Fabledom offers an accessible and intuitive way of playing city builders. There's no Excel sheets nor optimization required to build yourself an entire kingdom. It's set in a strange world where fairy tales become a reality. You will witness the growth of your village, follow citizens' lives, watch the rise and fall of your relationships with neighboring kingdoms. The next game on the list is called Mika and the Witch's Mountain. Mika and the Witch's Mountain is a fantasy adventure about an aspiring witch who delivers packages to the townspeople of a small island. Explore every cranny and soar through the sky with your magic broom. The storyline will follow Mika, an aspiring witch, who must embark on a journey to the top of the mountain. There, the answers to many questions about life and magic await her, but also the end of a journey of personal growth and self-discovery. Mika will have to work for the local delivery company and lend a hand to her new neighbors. Each new broom will have better features that will allow Mika to get a little closer to the top of the mountain, meet new characters, and discover new places. You'll get to take your magic broom and discover all the secrets hidden in the mountain while getting to know its charming inhabitants. The game will feature in a beautiful miniature open world full of secrets and magic, and overall it's a cozy, lighthearted story for you to unwind and relax as you play. The next game on the list 
protagonist is called Mr. Saitao. Mr. Saitao is a short game about an average white collar worker who struggles to find meaning in a life full of constant overtime and isolation. After an accident lands on him in the hospital, Mr. Saitao is spirited away to a strange fantasy world where an unexpected friend takes him on a life-changing adventure. The game features heartwarming, non-combat story with an emphasis on humor and building friendships. It is a short and sweet experience that can usually be completed in one sitting. However, it is full of a cast of strange characters you will want to meet. And of course, there is absolutely beautiful art and stunning music to listen to as you relax playing this game and going on this adventure. The next game on the list is called Pixel Shot. Build the town of Pixelshire and grow your community in a unique RPG sandbox which mixes life sim elements with town building, exploration, and even combat. Express yourself by planning the town to your liking, master trades, get to know your neighbors, and explore the continent of Arcadia. In the game, you'll get to develop the absolute perfect town and the perfect farm of your dreams with terraforming features that allow you to carve and craft the landscape. You'll get to build and decorate your own unique house, and your town will grow with each citizen you encounter along the way. Each villager has its own house that you must place and design, as well as you need to build your farm, plant, grow crops, and raise livestock. You can also choose from a variety of trades to master, from farming to mining, woodcutting, fishing, my personal favorite, cooking, brewing, and more are all awaited to be mastered. You'll also get to manage your own shop and sell valuable items you find in your adventures or goods that you'll produce. Along with all of this, you can become part of Pixelshire's community and make friends with the inhabitants, each with their own personality. And you might even find romance. The next game is called Lakeburg Legacies. Lakeburg Legacies is a social-based village management sim where love is your favorite resource. Play matchmaker to create the most effective and most loved up couples that will help your kingdom thrive. If you think you've made the most perfect match, you'll get to then follow your family's generation after generation and watch their lineage blossom or wilt and see what effects they have on your realm. But don't let yourself get too carried away in the matters of love or people might go starving. Balance production, trade, housing, and more as you set out to create a happy and healthy sediment. In Lakeburg, each of the characters will have their own preferences and flaws that you need to pay attention to when trying to make couples. There will also be tons of drama in the game. You'll get to navigate tricky, randomized events that will introduce chaos in the love life of your people. So it's your job to try and keep them in check and keep the village thriving. The next game on the list is called Ogu and the Secret Forest. Explore the wonderful world with baby Ogu. Ogu in the Secret Forest is a 2D adventure game with hand-drawn characters and various types of puzzles. You'll get to befriend bouncy characters and defeat strange creatures to unravel the mystery of the charming world. In the game, you'll get to explore various types of areas. Each area has a unique atmosphere and story. You'll also get to solve puzzles and find hints to reveal secrets and mysteries that are undisclosed for a long time. The puzzles will range from recognizable classic puzzles to very unique ones. And along the way, you'll also get to discover tons of very specific creatures. Along your adventure, you'll also get to discover tons of fun collectible items along the way, specifically different accessories for baby Ogu with different hats. And also you'll get to meet tons of friends along the way and they might help you with their unique skills or give you gifts. And your friends might be the perfect companion in helping you take on this adventure. Next game on the list is called The Ranch of Rivershire. The Ranch of Rivershire is an adorable farming sim and life sim game where you get to raise horses and train them as you explore the western wilderness. You'll get to participate in cross-country competitions and become your town's champion, all while befriending the villagers who will help you on your adventure at the Ranch of Rivershire. The game follows you as you settle into a brand new town and you learn the ropes of running your own ranch. You'll have to repair your stables, add new stalls, and expand your pasture to build new obstacle courses for your arena. You'll also get to cultivate crops and fruits on your ranch. 
You'll get to plant a variety of greens and hay in your fields and expand your ranch with an orchard and grow fruit trees to gather snacks such as pears and apples. If you feed your horses a healthy diet, it'll boost their energy and gain their affection. You can explore the world all by trotting along different trails such as the meadow path, along the coast range, or even up a rocky mountain hike. Bond with your horse, enjoy nature, and you might even encounter some more fun wild horses during your ride. The next game on the list is one I have already covered on my channel before, but it's just gotten a brand new demo, and that is Mail Time. Mail Time is a relaxing cottagecore adventure set in a peaceful forest far, far away. It's your first day on the job as a newly minted mail scout, equipped with a mushroom hat, a pack full of letters, and an unbridled enthusiasm, it's time to deliver letters and packages across the Grumblewood Grove. The recipients eagerly await the sight of your mushroom hat. You'll get to run, jump, glide, and make your way across the forest to deliver parcels and joy to the cute critters that inhabitate the woods. The next game on the list is called the Magical Mixture Mill. The Magical Mixture Mill is a game where you'll get to brew magical mixtures for local questing heroes and keep them coming back for more. You'll get to team up with a mushroom-loving witch to restore her rundown shop. You'll get to build automated production lines, experiment with exotic ingredients, explore a cozy world, and try not to blow everything up. The next game on the list is called Crystallize. Crystallize is an open world RPG that combines field exploration, action, and base customization simulation and allows players to grow with the Sky Island. The main character is a young girl entrusted with the mission of becoming the garden deity of a mysterious Sky Island. In the endless world, monsters, dungeons, frigid snowfields, and scorching hot deserts, and other various threats will be awaiting you. In between these adventures, you can make preparations in your store, harvest crops from the fields, and develop the island with the resources you've attained. As your character grows with the island, the scope of your exploration will expand. The island can be expanded as much as you like, and you can place as many things as you like, so there is no limit to how far you can go in this game. You can create your own island and build your own character to your heart's content. The next game on the list is called Cornucopia. Cornucopia is a 2D farming RPG sim with unique mechanics like pet-assisted gathering and combat, animal auctioning and breeding, buying more homes, and a magnifying glass and compost system. You'll get to explore a bustling world, make friends, marry, have children, play mini games, and attend festivals. In the game, you'll get to grow 52 different vegetable plants and interact with 47 plus NPCs. You'll also get to grow 52 different fruit trees and 15 different berry bushes and harvest crops to sell. You'll also get to refine and craft items to unlock new furniture and decorations for your home. And you'll also get to fish for over 150 species and cook over 200 recipes. You'll get to do this all while performing and leveling up skills such as mining, lodging, tilling, watering, fishing, and mushroom foraging. The next game on the list is called Shoo Me Come Home. In Shoo Me Come Home, you'll play as a tiny little mushroom who is lost in the forest and can't find their way home. You'll get to explore unique areas freely at your own pace, chat with friendly inhabitants, and take on different adventures to get back home. In the game, you'll get to run, glide, climb, and swim your way through different areas of the forest while you get to chat with quirky forest creatures that you meet along the way, some of which might even offer their help while others might need your help. You'll get to go on different adventures to get back home. Some might have light platforming while others might involve some light puzzle solving. You'll get to explore this game with no time limits or game overs. And basically you get to just take on the world as a mushroom. The next game on the list is called Town Seek. Town Seek is a relaxing exploration trading game where you take to the skies to explore the world of Explora, discovering the lost legacy of Sir Reginald Sharkingston. You'll get to travel far and wide, discover exotic landmarks, visit faraway towns, trade with whimsical characters, catch fish, 
discover artifacts, and so much more. There are tons of things to do all over Explora. If you need a break from trading, you can obtain new blimps and hulls to customize your airship. You can buy a fishing rod and go catch peculiar fish. You can mine one-of-a-kind artifacts, dig for treasure, farm for exotic fruits, or do whatever it takes to make your adventure your own. You'll also get to reassemble your journal bestowed on you by Captain Jawline and discover the lost legacy of Sir Reginald Sharkingston. You'll get to fill it with memories of your own travels as you strive to complete your entire item collection to make this a truly unforgettable adventure. The next game on the list is called Honeymancer. Honeymancer is a cute RPG and farming simulator with wave-based combat. You'll get to play as a secluded bear, that's also a witch, and she's a beekeeper and user of honey magic. You'll get to help your bee friends make honey by planting flowers and use your honey to cast spells and protect the forest from evil robots. While doing this, you'll also need to leave the bear witch's comfort zone and befriend the other animals in the forest. Being kind and helpful is good for everyone, and it will help you unlock new spells, flowers, decorations, and more. In essence, it's your job to defeat the robots while trying to protect the nature. The next game on the list is called Panorama. Panorama is a relaxing and soothing puzzle simulation game in which you can create amazing landscapes using different types of tiles, but most of all by discovering the connections between them and finding unique combinations. In Panorama, your goal is to score as many points as possible by connecting pieces of land with each other to create a larger environment. You gather points by placing colorful tiles to create ever-evolving biomes, placing structures, and even completing quests, which require you to think and plan accordingly. Pretty much the game strives for you to be creative and let your imagination take over. You'll get to sculpt epic mountain ranges, fill lakes and meadows with water, create picturesque towns surrounded by plains and forests, In Panorama, nothing stops you from using your imagination to the fullest and creating it. The next game on the list is called Pico. Pico is a cozy, cat-filled, tea-making simulator about taking time for self-care and connecting with what makes you happy. In Pico, you'll get to build relationships, upgrade your tea house, and discover new recipes as you work toward creating a place you can call home. As a town that runs on tea, you'll be doing more than just brewing tea bags. You'll learn when, where, and which leaves to pluck as you go through the process of learning the different types of tea and how they're made. The next game on the list is called A Guidebook of Babel. A Guidebook of Babel is a plot adventure game with the butterfly effect at its core. After death, you will soon realize you've boarded the Babel. And while this may feel like the Twilight Zone, you'll be given a pen to rewrite the past so future events can unfold. At its core, you'll find a story-rich adventure that takes off the moment you land on Babel. But the afterlife is not a dull place, so you'll soon find yourself intertwined with the drama and mishaps that require full attention, and you'll get to experience a heartwarming adventure while exploring themes of life, death, family, and letting go. The next game on the list is called Moonlight in Garland. Moonlight in Garland is a cozy, open-ended life sim that sees you making a new life in the bustling metropolis of Garland. You'll get to find an apartment and make it perfectly yours. Befriend your neighbors, grow your urban garden, solve community problems, and experience all the weirdly wonderful stuff that city living offers. You'll also get to look after the neighborhood so more residents stick around. All while getting to figure out what jerk is stealing the packages from the mailroom, and maybe even be swept along in a whirlwind romance along the way. The next game on the list is called Plan B Terraform. In Plan B Terraform, you'll get to terraform a lifeless rock into a lush and habitable world. You'll get to build trucks, trains, and sprawling factories on an enormous hexagonal planet. Get to grow the population to millions. You'll get to enjoy a dynamic simulation of atmosphere, temperature, water, and forests. Earth has had a very hard time limiting global warming and its catastrophic consequences. Humanity needs a plan B in order to ensure its survival, and so this is all up to you. The next game on the list is called Outlanders. Outlanders is a town-building strategy game populated by hardworking, charming folk in search of a simpler life. 
They're simple folk with hopes, dreams, and desires. You can't control them directly, but instead you can place buildings, manage resources, and declare the number of work spots in each building. Then watch the outlanders themselves decide who takes what job, which house they inhabited, and which buildings to build. Unlike other games of its style, Outlanders offers a string of increasingly complex mission-based levels, each with its own specific goals and story, where new buildings and mechanics are unlocked organically throughout. Next game on the list is called Zid Journey. Zid Journey is a hand-drawn adventure game with a strong classic 90s vibe. You'll get to play as Zid, a yellow dinosaur, and point and click his way as he goes on a journey to find his lost parents of a small dinosaur egg. The game features charming visuals featuring a cartoony art style, hand-drawn backgrounds, and frame-by-frame -frame animations. As you play the game, the dinosaur baby in your backpack will not only give you small hints, but will also have its own unique gameplay segments. Even more different dinosaurs and other prehistoric creatures will also be there for you to meet along the way, and you'll get to visit new places, landmarks, and settlements in this prehistoric world. The in-game encyclopedia will give you information about the creatures, items, and locations you meet as you go through this incredible journey. The next game is called Hello, Good Boy. Hello, Good Boy is a wholesome, non-linear adventure game where a lost soul and his dog set out on an otherly worldly trek through the afterlife. You'll get to pass into the world beyond, commit acts of happiness for other souls, and mend mistakes from the forgotten past, all while a very good boy is by your side. The game features Aiko, a boy new to the afterlife. With no memory of what brought him to the world beyond, he must rely on Coco, a strangely familiar dog who will help him solve the mysteries of this new existence. You'll get to journey through the unknown, yet familiar places, meeting fellow souls on their own adventures through the afterlife. You'll get to pay it forward with generous favors for them, and you'll get to figure out why Aiko landed in this land beyond to begin with. However, mind the time because there's only so much of it. In the game, you'll get to choose who you want to spend your time with, as visiting some will prevent you from making relationships with others, and you'll get to discover how your choices will affect Aiko's story through multiple different endings. And most importantly, you'll get to hang out with Coco, the closest friend in the afterlife that anyone could ask for, also the best of the boys. His nose combined with Aiko's fixing skills will be key to discovering the metaphysical mysteries found around the world beyond. But only, but only if Coco knows he's a very, very good boy. You'll pamper him with belly rubs and playing with toys to keep his good boy o meter full and fulfilled so you can make your way on through your adventure. The next game on the list I've actually mentioned before on this channel as it is a highly anticipated cozy game coming up and it's just given us a new demo, but this game is called Mineko's Night Market. Mineko's Night Market is a narrative driven social simulation adventure game that celebrates Japanese culture while encouraging players to craft, eat, and ultimately, enjoy all of the cats. In the game, you'll get to play as Mineko, a curious girl who has just arrived at her new home on a struggling Japanese-inspired island at the base of Mount Fuju. The superstitious locals on the island worship the sun cat, Abe. What was always thought to be a long-told myth has the town puzzled as sightings of Abe have begun to surface among the residents of the island in recent days you'll get to discover the secrets behind the town and restore the struggling village to its former glory. All the while, you manage your daily activities, complete various jobs, venture on whimsical quests, and craft peculiar items in preparation for the weekly night market. The next game on the list is called Voltaire the Vegan Vampire. Voltaire the Vegan Vampire is an action farming game set in Transylvania, the homeland of Dracula and his rebellious last born son, Voltaire. An epiphany results in a change of heart for the young vampire, abandoning blood in favor of a plant-based diet out of spite to prove to his father the neck biting is, is not the only way for vampires to thrive. With the help of his uncles, Frank and Stein, Voltaire slips away from his father's gaze. Once on his own, he embarks on a creepy, cute odyssey full of veggie recipes, a plant-based lifestyle, and hand-drawn art celebrating the gloriously macabre. And the final game on the list is called Espresso Tycoon. Espresso Tycoon is a coffee shop simulator. You'll get to create your brand, decorate your coffee shop, 
manage your employees, and take care of your customers. You'll get to use the 3D coffee editor to create coffee recipes, order supplies, and collect rating points. You'll get to build the whole coffee business and complete all of the game's missions. Espresso Tycoon is a brand new approach to the old classic tycoon games that you might remember from your childhood. But in this one, it is all about coffee where you get to build coffee from your dreams and customers can relax and drink delicious coffee, all while you deal with the emotional roller coaster that it takes to build a successful coffee business. And there you guys have it. Those were just some of the like hundreds and hundreds of cozy game demos that we have just gotten from Steam Fest this current week. A big reminder, you can check out every single game that has been mentioned in this video and play their free demo. However, you can only play it for Steam Fest week, which is this week, February 6th to February 13th. I know there are a lot of titles, so hopefully you found a few at least that you were interested in, and I hope that this was able to break some of them down for you a little bit further, because I know it can get a little overwhelming with so many games in such a short time to play them. I wanna hear your favorites down below. Let me know which of these games you are most excited to check out and let me know what games I'm missing as well. Please be sure to click the lovely little like button on your way out as well as subscribe for more cozy, chaotic content like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.